Welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm seeing Novikov Balls. Hey, I didn't know that. Uh, you didn't need to get off the bike. That's awesome. Seeing them all over the place now. Ever since that drunk uh, told me what they're for. You see, I give them to a drunk man, and he kicks my ass, and I inexplicably get better. Uh, no, no, not here. Around the way. It's Naomi's lab. Oh, but you might have an even better lightsaber. You know what? This is my friend's place, so I am going to pull off the road instead of being a huge dick. Oh, that actually is a parking spot. Huh? Whoa. That building right there looks like an old-timey Taco Bell without the labeling on it. Actually, that reminds me of something. A train of thought does, anyway. Well, first, I should probably start my timer. That's just a thought. Um, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Secondly... Shout out once again to Yornik, who suggests, uh, I suspect Santa destroys somewhere near the Mexican border. That's why there is English and Spanish writing on things, and why peeps are going loco for Lucha Libre there. Oh, and what, another definition for the currency, saying that it stands for laser beam dollars. These are very crafty and good at science, these Santa destroyans. <laughs> Let's uh, go into the store and meet our good friend Bishop. Travis, how's business? The third story? Is that what that other poster says? Travis, it's a bad day to be having a bad day. I mean, check out this death threat email. I got it myself. It's from my girlfriend. That's called a text message, but, you know, whatever. The word die keeps scrolling on and on. How am I supposed to do business during shit storms like this? My love life, my career, totally worthless. Video Volume 1. The title is Mask the Panther, The Tiger's Roar. Okay! That one? You got it. Oh man, Travis. Man on fire. You're nothing like the worthless freaks I usually get in here. Having a little taste makes all the difference. Why do I have a feeling that Travis did not put that poster there up in the wall? They met from being huge weebs, didn't they? Like, they absolutely nailed it, though. The bright colors, the general designs, the unexpectedly skimpy outfits. Peace out, Travis. Don't get your throat slit. That feels like a de uh, deliberate reference to the fact that the death animation shows the throat being slit. Huh. Okay, that was weird. I just wanted to see if that was full of Moai. That would not be explained by Mexico, as I believe that's a Pacific Islander thing. I really like that uh, the A the A button pop up anyway. I'm pretty sure that's just the same symbol that would have appeared on the Wii. I'm not sure that we actually had a Y button. I didn't do it. Oh, hey, we're right here. Even better. Here's hoping we brought in those uh, pornos we rented. Got back whatever the fuck that other thing was. It uh, just seems to show a guy humping a pillow. So was that a video Travis made? here. I mean, none of the other cars ever seem to stop. Hello, Jean. How often do you do that when I'm not here? Oh, 
Okay, Mask to Panther, the Tiger's Roar. Is this gonna be like an hour long thing? Is this messing with me or what? Oh, well, I guess we're about to find out. No, it's not actually a cutscene. Learned the new pro wrestling move, Kebradora Congiro. Okay, no, that actually does that. I know a lot of gamers out there don't have much patience. At least that's what Bishop, the dude at the video store, said. See? <laughs> Meow. Ah, oh, yes, and we'll recall that last time I bought a new shirt and then promptly replaced it for one I found literally in the trash. I've just noticed that you can actually just barely see Subaki clipping through the couch next to, uh... I don't know, his ribs there? Yes, good kitty. Yeah, we should probably do this on here. Yay! I don't actually like this shirt very much, so I'm going to go swap it out for anything else. The fuck? That must be the other one I got. A No More Heroes monochrome t-shirt. The idea for this mysterious char character, boldly depicted, is said to have come from a scribbled drawing during the initial planning phase. I'm pretty sure that guy was on the little doodle in the bathroom in the high school. In fairness, it does seem like the sort of thing I would wear. All right, bye, Jane. Take it easy. Just checking to see if that guy's pummeling actually reduced my health, but no. I find it weird that a lot of the places marked on the map are just there, like Burger Suplex. I don't think you can actually do anything there. You're telling me there's treasure right next to my hotel and I didn't notice. What? There's no grass here at all. Oh ho! Oh, I did find this one. I guess I must, lost, must have lost that when I had to redo part of that video. <laughs> I know it's in between these two. Hmm, maybe it was wrong. Aha! Oh, yeah, it's good. That's not mine, it's a car. Okay, where am I going? Yes, we're going off to the lab. Which conveniently is right here! I'm not gonna try driving in this time because it always seemed to be a pain in the ass to turn around in here for some reason, even though it's big and wide. You're so excited. Something to drink? Any new of these? No. What about this? Ooh. Power up eye. Power up parts for Subaki. Exchanges the crystal parts inside the beam katana with purer crystals to greatly increase its output. I'm going to assume that means it does more damage, but will that replace the accelerator? That's the important question. And if it does, how do I put it back on? Hmm. 
energy saving eye. I'm sure that's surely that's one. Beam katana energy saving parts for Subaki. Adds a motherboard to the beam katana itself. Increasing energy efficiency. Hmm. Those are real expensive, though. Well, let's try and see. Why? Why does Naomi not have a shadow when I scroll over the second one? Well, that's really distracting. Let's uh, buy that so we don't have to think about it. Uh, that? $29,000, sure. Okay. Ouch. Pricey. Do I want to do that for more energy efficiency? Well, first, I want to go outside. You old taco. Just need to step outside for a jazz cigarette break. Oh, no, 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 there's still pink dots, so I uh, do have the accelerator still attached. In which case, I should probably just buy the other thing. Because I'm assuming that the one I just bought means more damage, and this one means, uh, oh, the energy meter lasts longer. It's not even the same angle. I didn't even notice it did that before. Here. Oof. I need 250 large, too. That's what's up. That might make it easier. So now it's a smart beam katana, huh? Well, you already have a name, so I can't give you something silly. Oh. You know, I was actually concerned for a moment there uh, until I realized, oh, now they've marked the Lovikov balls on the map. That'll be easy. Nice. I actually like that. How the fuck do I get in there? Well, this would be a bad idea. I did not knock the fence down. Sup? That was a stunt. I bet it looked awesome. Oh god damn it, there isn't a fence on this side. Oh, fine. I will walk. Other than this, I wanted to go check out the, uh, the part-time jobs. And, uh, before I forgot... Oh, there we go. Ah! That's what that humming was earlier. I noticed there was an orange ball on the other side of the wall I was stood next to at that point. I wonder if all of these are full of Moai. Sorry, but not really. Duh. I'm trying to remember which one I'm even going to. That's right, the beer! That'll probably take less time. Oh. Oh crap, it's in there. Okay, I got this. I don't got this. What I find interesting is that a lot of people really, really seem to like the character of Travis Touchdown. And I don't know if that's just because, uh, you know, they really like the No More Heroes games, or what. I just remember he hearing people call for Travis in fucking Smash Brothers and such. Which makes sense, you know, Wii exclusive game and all that. But, uh... Oh. What? In fairness, I'd be confused, too. Um, oh, it's a mattress. Oh, God damn it, is that another one? No. Well, now that I think about it, I should look around and just make sure. Damn Moai following me everywhere. Huh? What do you want? 
Excuse me, Mr. Bum. A ball. Uh, jumping slash dash. Yes. Now this could either just be a dodge forward, you know, like I had been complaining about, but uh, whatever. We're going to check it out. Memory of Child allows a dash to be performed by pressing the A button. I like that it sounds like he's not just be punching him, he's like throwing him around and knocking shit over and... Learned the technique of Bizarre! Keep practicing. Yes, sir. By the way, I looked it up. The voice actress for Shinobu was, uh, one Kimberly Brooks. Who? Don't tell my mama. Okay, that's a brothel. Um... Ooh, dumpster. She did not play the character I was thinking of, so I shall not name that one out of embarrassment. Huh? Yes. Oh, it's the Santa Destroy flag! It's not bad. <laughs> oh no. Yes. Wha well, that's an interesting texture, and by interesting I do mean kind of ugly. I will definitely be changing that before the next proper mission. did, however, play, uh... Ashley Williams from Mass Effect. That seemed like a big one to name. And, uh... Barbara Gordon in the Batman Arkham games. Oh. I was looking at the mini-map. I didn't actually see that guy. That was just because I'm a bad driver. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone's a bad driver in video games, let's face it. You have an idea how care much more carefully I'd be driving if it was an actual motorcycle and there was a chance of me going flying off the end of the bike? What a depressing looking street. Why you come here? I will slap your shit if you keep calling me that. Garbage collection! I called it! Oh god. Clean up Santa Destroy, pick up as much trash as you... as uh, much garbage as you can within the time limit, go to the Spine Buster Avenue cleaning facility. Sure. But you won't never find out in you. Whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. Oh, that reminds me, I never actually checked that achievement I got. So I'll just close the message, it's going to pop up. Oh, I don't need that there. Go away. Uh, high school drama. You have defeated the 8th rank assassin, Shinobu. Oh, wow, that's uh, all squished up. I'm going to have to adjust that in between this session and the next, but for now... Oh. Yeah! Oh, and it drains the, uh, the, the, the boost meter! That is exactly what I was hoping for! What happens when I run out? Nice. This game came out ten years before Zelda had a similar animation. I'm not gonna just peel out of there with a cop right there. I mean, they're clearly apathetic, but, uh... They get less apathetic when other cops are involved, I'm just saying. They always do. Um... Yeah. Surf music, anyway. 
think I've asked that question before, but it's still valid. Right here, or it's the most annoying for everyone. You want to know the unspoken rules of Santa Destroy? This is a land of freedom and anarchy. So there's nothing much here, really. Just remnants cast off ruins, the garbage that litters our streets. Mark the remnants of lives. You following me? Each piece of garbage is a lost soul. So what better way to spend your life saving lost souls? A true garbage man can bring peace to the dead. That was the perfect time for me to take that screenshot with his arms up like that. It's taken me 12 years to realize this truth. You've got potential. A soul that can talk with garbage. The god of garbage will be watching. Go save that garbage. No bikes will pollute the air allowed in this environmentally friendly mission. Alright, I see what you mean about being purposely tedious. Because if you bump into them, it moves them away. It's $4,000 right there. Five. Your soul is mine! <laughs> I wish they wouldn't make that noise. Oops. Does that mean if I wanted to, I could use the motorcycle in the fucking mo lawn mowing mission? No, you can't get out of the thing in there, so it must be the coconuts, then. We just drive the bike into the trees. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Now get your friend here! bad for that. I was going to leave one in particular. That would be silly. It's like I'm wearing a waffle for a shirt. Easy. Easy. With the power of tongs! Twenty four thousand dollars Damn, this is where the real money is. Oh, they're replenishing behind me! But if they made this game today, they would have had like a detail where it's like a car drives by and drops the thing. He's not saying easy like this is easy. He's saying easy like like it's alive and he wants to calm it down. Easy. Easy now. This isn't unusually a large amount of trash. I'm just gonna say this. If, if you could make $40,000 for picking up trash for several minutes, uh, I feel like the world would be a lot cleaner. They would just be swimming out to the Pacific Garbage Patch and ripping it apart with their bare hands. You'd best fucking believe that was gold. Hey, you third raider, I've got another job for you. Something a little shadier, perhaps, but work all the same. Sent an introduction ticket onto my associate. Was that an achievement in the corner? No. The road becoming a first raider is long and hard. Get your ass in gear.
Huh, that's weird. Well, I could check that out, and I do fully plan on doing it. Travis! Huh. But, uh... I'm gonna call this episode right here. I'm going to... Well, I'll tell you what. One more thing. Just head right back home, so... Okay. First, let's go check out this. Before I call it. I have to know what the fuck is going on with this shirt. Oh, wrong one. Crocodile! Okay, the entire front of the shirt features a bold print of a crocodile's belly. A gift from Australia. I mean, that does make it look cooler, but since I didn't know that's what a crocodile's belly looks like, I'm just gonna switch it to something else. Okay. Now I just gotta do this. You hungry? Yes, good. There, there. Perfect. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play No More Heroes. And we keep earning money and make our way towards the fight with Assassin Number 7. Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later.